This is the world's lightest palm-sized foldable gimbal for smartphones. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you more about it, plus introduce you to the additional vlogging kit that you can get along with this gimbal. And also show you lots of sample footage so that you can make up your own mind about whether this is the right smartphone stabilizer for you. So this is my phone and this is the gimbal. And right off the bat, you can see that size-wise, they're about comparable and they weigh about the same too. So this is definitely a super small compact gimbal gimbal and in fact I'll show you the first smartphone gimbal that we ever had still have it in fact and you can see that this gimbal is quite a bit smaller so the name of this gimbal is the Hohem iSteady X and they've made quite a few strides in terms of size and functionality since this older Juin gimbal first came out several years ago. Another great thing about this gimbal is its price. It's only $69, which is a pretty good price considering all that this gimbal can do. But is it really worth paying more to enhance your smartphone when smartphones are already pretty good? I'd say it depends a lot on what kind of videos or content you plan on shooting, but gimbals are great not only for adding stability to your footage, but also for unlocking features such as time lapses. I really love the moving time lapse feature that's available on the Hohem Pro app, and I use that a lot for just filming little transitional scenes that I end up using in vlogs later on. The face tracking feature is also really great for adding that extra element to make it look like you've got a camera person with you, when in reality, it's just you and your gimbal. So, Gimbals like this are great for enhancing your creativity and allowing you to shoot different types of footage that you can't get with just your camera alone. So first, let's go over some specs. This gimbal weighs in at 260 grams, and it's made of mostly plastic, which isn't really a bad thing because it's still really well built, and it helps keep the weight down. There are three lockable axes that you have to unlock before you start using this gimbal. Next, you wanna take your smartphone and pop it in on top. There is a little diagram here that shows you which direction to point your camera phone lenses, so be sure to do that. And also try to center your phone as much as possible because that really helps with balancing the gimbal when you turn it on. In terms of smartphone compatibility, the maximum payload is 280 grams, which is funny because it's a little bit heavier than the actual weight of this gimbal. But in that case, it works with most of the modern smartphones, even some of the bigger ones. And it works with both Android and iPhones. There is some debate about whether you can use a case on your phone when you're using the gimbal. In some cases you can, but I find that with my Samsung Galaxy S10, it's hit or miss. Sometimes the gimbal works fine with the case on and other times the gimbal gets kind of weird and shaky and it's not very stable. So if that ever happens with your phone, then just pop the case off and stick your phone into the gimbal and everything should work really smoothly. Once you have your phone mounted, go ahead and hit that power button and the gimbal will power on and the motors will kick in and everything is smooth and you're ready to go. It should be noted though that the very first time you use this gimbal, you wanna connect it to your smartphone app, the Hohem Pro app, and you have to activate the gimbal. If you don't do that, then your gimbal's gonna be pretty limp and it will seem like it's not working. So be sure to connect it and do that step first. So once the gimbal's powered on, it's pretty straightforward. There are only three buttons and a joystick and so it's pretty simple to use. Off the bat, one command that you can start using right away is the power button. If you hit that once, it goes into vertical mode so that you can shoot vertical videos or photos. If you hit that same button twice, then you can recenter your gimbal in case you get it really off some way and you wanna make sure that it goes back to normal, just hit that power button twice and it goes back to the center. Another shorthand command that's good to know is using a combination of the photo button and the power button to cycle through the four different modes. So this gimbal is able to do pan, tilt, and follow, which is the default mode. It can also do pan follow, all lock, and POV mode. So besides using the gimbal as normal, one other really cool feature about this gimbal is that if you wanna use it as a selfie stick, you can easily do that by just locking each axis. And that gives you a selfie stick that you can use normally for taking selfies or photos, or if for some reason you wanna vlog without the gimbal on. One of the other great features about this gimbal is the ability to lock each axis so that it becomes really stiff and you can essentially just turn it into a selfie stick that you can use to vlog and walk around. 
So those are some pretty simple features that you can do with this gimbal right out of the box without connecting it to the smartphone app. But if you want to take full advantage of this gimbal, then you really should connect it to that Hohem Pro app. You can use the app to access tutorials to learn how to use the gimbal, or you can also use the camera that's built into the app. If you do use the camera, then it's pretty important to double check the settings. Just make sure that your photo and video resolution and frame rates are set to whatever you want them to be. The app also gives you access to some of your camera phone's extra features, such as the ability to switch between the front facing lens and also turning on the flash and turning that into a constant source of light. There's also a pretty cool face tracking mode that works for both photos when you're taking a selfie and also for videos. So one of the features I really love about this gimbal is the face tracking. So you might be able to see through the screenshot that I'm including that this is what my camera app is showing me and it's drawing a green box around my face. And whenever I move, the gimbal and thus the camera phone are moving along with it. So I think this is such a cool feature. It does have a bit of a limit, so you do have to know how far you can go but that's pretty responsive and pretty accurate. Another pretty cool feature about the Hohem Pro app is the moment section. So if you want to have some pre-made or preset videos, you can use the moment templates to make some creative shots. These are really handy for making quick creative edits to upload to social media. There is one little downside though to using the Hohem Pro app, and that is it restricts your full range of camera lens choices if you have a camera phone like this one that has multiple lenses you can choose from. The Hohem camera app only gives you access to the basic mode or a slightly wide shot, but you can't use all of your camera lenses. The only other downside to this gimbal is the battery life. So it has a rechargeable battery. You can recharge it via USB-C. It comes with a charging cable, but the battery life is only eight hours long, which is okay for most people, but in a lot of modern gimbals, they're coming with you know 20 plus hour battery life. So that might be a downside. So now let's talk about the Hohem iSteady X Vlogger Kit. This kit comes with the gimbal and it also has an extra feature, which is a Bluetooth microphone that also works as a remote control for your smartphone. There's also an optional windscreen included and headphones so that you can monitor your audio as you're recording. The microphone connects to your phone via Bluetooth, but once you do that, you also want to go into the Hohem Pro app and make sure that the microphone is connected. It also unlocks a wide range of settings that you can control for the microphone, including gain control and even controlling the amount of noise that is being picked up. All right, we're going to start off this vlogging test with a sound test. So as you can see, right here. I have the Hohem Bluetooth microphone clipped to me and I also have the windscreen on it. We have the gain set to automatic and also the noise is set to medium. So this is what it sounds like and we'll do a little bit of a mic test as well with uh, the different noise levels and also trying it without the windscreen to see what it sounds like. So the windscreen is now off. We do still have the noise reduction set to medium but this is what it sounds like. I'm going to walk around a bit, see if we can generate some wind or some other noise and just see how the microphone handles it in that particular case. So this time, still have the windscreen off, went ahead and put the noise reduction to high. So this is what it sounds like. I have a bit of a breeze coming through, but yeah, hopefully my voice is still really clear because sometimes this noise reduction can be a little bit too strong, especially when it's on the high setting. All right, more sound testing. This time noise reduction is over on low and I'm continuing walking through the park here, looking for some noise to test out how good this microphone is. Okay, last sound test here. The noise reduction is now on closed, which I think means off totally. So yeah, this I'm guessing is gonna be not so great. You might hear a little bit more noise. We'll see how sensitive it is. But yeah, this is what it sounds like with the automatic noise reduction turned off on the microphone.
So the last sound test I want to do is giving you a demo of what it sounds like if I'm not using an external microphone at all. This is just the camera phone, and I actually think phones tend to have pretty decent sound since they are phones at heart. So the whole point of them is to have decent sound. But this is what it sounds like. I think uh, this microphone is probably going to pick up a lot more ambient sound as opposed to the little Bluetooth microphone, which is going to be more targeted. So the Bluetooth mic is obviously more uh, your style if you're into vlogging. You really want to make sure that your, your voice is being covered, but at the same time, it's not the worst case scenario to just use your phone. But now I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think about this gimbal? Would you try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.